learning all my friends from Arrington, Hilliers, Coombs, Whiskey Creek, and Meadowwood. I'm Susan Pierce, and I'm the Parksville Librarian. I'm joined this morning by ACRA, Aerosmith Community Recreation Association. How are you this morning, Tracy? I'm doing great. Thanks, Susan. I'm Tracy Cargo-White. I am a Recreation Coordinator with ACRA, and I work alongside Christine. Good morning. So I am Christine Stevenson, and uh, I also work with ACRA. All right, Susan, tell us what we need to do to make some amazing bird feeders today. All right. So as we talked about in the other videos that we've shared, this month is all about birds. And so we've talked about how you can research birds on the NoBC website. We've done some bird crafts, and now we're going to do something that we can feed wild birds. So we're going to create a bird seed ornament that you can actually hang outside in your yard and attract birds to do a little bit of bird watching. So some of the supplies that you'll need in order to do this craft are bird seed, some gelatin powder, a straw, some cookie cutters, and some twine or string or yarn. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go through the cooking process. And Christine has been kind enough at home to detail a little of this process in her kitchen. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be making some hanging bird feeders out of three simple ingredients. The first ingredient that you're going to need is a packet of gelatin. You can find this in the grocery store. You're also going to need some water and some bird seed. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to prepare your gelatin mixture. Gelatin is used to thicken things, and in this case, it's going to make our bird seeds stick together into a clump. Once I put my gelatin into the water, I'm going to give it a stir until it's well combined. Next, I'm going to heat up my gelatin and water mixture. Once the gelatin mixture is hot, you can turn off the heat on your stove and add in your bird seed. Next, you're going to take a cookie sheet and some parchment paper. You're also going to need a cookie cutter. So I have ones that look like this. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you could also use the band off of a mason jar. Those can come in different sizes too. Then you're going to take your bird seed mixture and you're going to pat it in like this. This will help the bird seed hold its shape. You want to be sure that you fill the cookie cutters up all the way to the top. I want this to be a hanging bird feeder, so I'm going to take a chopstick and I'm going to make a small hole near the top. And that is where my bird feeder will hang from. You could also use a straw or anything you have to make a little hole. Once you have all of your bird seed into your cookie cutter molds, the last step is to put everything in the fridge to harden overnight. The next day, we are going to take our frozen bird seed ornaments out of the freezer and have a look at what we made. Ooh. Wow, Christine. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tracy, you've got some really amazing shapes there. Those are going to be gorgeous bird seed ornaments in your yard. And I just cut my straw so that I wasn't using um, too much plastic. I cut it down and was able to use one straw for all four ornaments. And thanks to that um, spray mm -hmm. with the coconut oil or whatever kind of spray you have, happy to say, pops right out and same with the straw. <laughs> Excellent. That worked out really well. I used the mason jar lid, the ring, and I just left a small gap so that I could fit a piece of string through. And then I'm just going to leave that uh, ring in place and hang it from the tree like that. Thank you, all of our friends from Arrington Coombs, Whiskey Creek Hilliers, and Meadowwood for joining us in this craft video on how to make an easy bird seed ornament. Enjoy watching the birds in your yard. <laughs>